Alright, we got a 2006 F250 6.0. Doing the fan clutch water pump. So they say you didn't have to take the radiator out to get it, the shroud out, or whatever. I actually did because I have this aftermarket radiator. So you gotta take off the top holes, there's uh, relief holes, and basically I just took everything apart as far as the bottom so I can maneuver it better. But we got the fan office down there. So I'm gonna pull the shroud out. Or the back side of the shroud out. That's what it looks like. That bolt didn't come out. It's gonna be the water pump. Take it off in a minute. Get this fan up out of here. Looks like I say probably 12 millimeters. Oh, for these shroud bolts. They go in here, they're 15 millimeter. The clamp, it's a seven. The support brackets, eight millimeter. So let's see, 12. Four usually like using 12 for some reason. Let's see. No, no, 13. Mill. This is a inch and seven eighths for the for the fan clutch. So let me get this belt off. Let me get this, get to this water pump. Hold on. I got the belt off. He's a half an inch, a little extension. Probably loose, this protector, take that off. 10 millimeter. Thought it was a 10 millimeter, hold up. Yeah, it was a 10. Just had the wrong socket, so let's see. Uh, I'll take a loose. I'll be right back. Sometimes you gotta get innovative. So, I got them loose. It's stuck to the driver now. It's up against the pulley. So I'll probably make a part one, part two, because I'm recording my phone. And if I did it in different parts, then I have to make a go to the video editor and put them together and whatnot. So just for shits and giggles, we're doing this in real time. Aha. There's your water pump. So let's see what size that is. Should be 10. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Yep, those are tens also. I'm gonna take those loose and find my wrench. Be right back. We got the water pump bolts out. Let's
Let's go to a little hammer time. There you go. Liquid gold. So, when you're going back together, I'm going uh, to have to do another video. When you're going back together, clean all that up, that residue and whatnot inside there. Got your o ring. You can see this is old plastic. It was gonna fail regardless. This one's I believe some aluminum. Sounds like it. So you got your O-ring right here. It just goes around this outer part. So let's do that. want to lube it up you can if you don't it's all right i'm just gonna put a little bit of this transmission fluid on it together like I said I'll make another video shortly for now that's it